Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Alyssa, and for today's video, I am coming at you with a little clothing and accessory haul. You guys really seem to enjoy my last clothing haul, and I'm sure many of you guys can relate, but all I have been doing during this time is online shopping, and I figured who better to share all my purchases with than you guys. So I really hope that you are excited for today's video, and without further ado, if you would like to know what I picked up, during this quarantine, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so starting off with Rosie Days. Now, I have spoken about Rosie Days many times here on my channel. The first thing I picked up is actually the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. So I realized that I actually didn't own any of their logo tees, that I've always picked up things like jackets or accessories or different tops. And so I wanted to get one of her logo tees because I love a good t-shirt, you guys. Like, let's not get it twisted here. And so I picked up this one. This is in like an olive -y type of color, obviously. And it just has the rosy Days like RD little logo right here. It's really comfortable. I got mine in a large. I did size up because I wanted it to be a little oversized and really comfortable to wear with shorts or anything like that. So that's why I did this. So this is what the back looks like. It's just got their standard logo on it. Really simple, really cute, really comfy. Okay, so the next thing that I got from them is another logo tee, but this is their spring logo tee. Now, I will go ahead and say that this was limited edition, so you cannot get it anymore. This is just like the one I'm wearing, except it is white, and it has a different logo because obviously it's a limited edition logo that they did. It says Rosy Days and established in 2017, and it's got like a little yellow key on it if you can see that super duper cute don't mind the fact that it's wrinkly as heck they've all been sitting in a bag in here in my room and then the back has again a different type of logo so again it just says rosy days boutique but it has like a little almost like what looks like a crochet type of circle with really pretty like spring looking leaves i thought it was absolutely adorable and when i saw it i was like girl i need it the last thing I got from Rosie Days was this t-shirt and I have been eyeballing it for a while. It's super cute. Um, it's this little white t-shirt. Again, I know, hashtag spring, who is she? It is a very boxy tee and it has this really nice like, I don't know, light pale green color along the collar and it's got these muted really pretty it's like a yellow the same color as the collar and then this kind of like teal blue and then the sleeves have little yellow details on them it's a super cute t-shirt i got this in a medium by the way if you guys are wondering it is an oversized fit naturally so i definitely think size down if you want it more form-fitting size up if you want it more oversized but with that being said this is a boxy a very boxy shirt. Um, I think this looks really freaking cute on the model, but the model is a little more um, straight figured. I am a very curvy woman. Got a lot of dips and valleys, if you will. And um, <laughs> this on me, just on my body, sitting, it don't look cute, girl. I'm not gonna lie, it does not look good. No, 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 no. I have got to style this. Whether that be tying it up in a little knot, um, kind of tucking part of it in in some shorts to give my body some shape because on its own it is unflattering and this is definitely something that you need to wear with a more structured pant in my opinion obviously dress and style your clothes however the heck you want to girl rock it so everything that I'm going to talk about is actually from Airy not American Eagle I'm sorry let me clarify that but so I got a bathing suit and it is a bikini. So this is the top that I picked up. They do not go together specifically. I like buying things that I can mix and match and wear with different tops and bottoms that I already own because swimsuits are expensive, girl. You know what I'm saying. But this is what it looks like. It's just this cute little kind of V scoop necky type top. It does have adjustable straps, which is everything to me. I do not like tops without adjustable straps. And it's got this really nice rib texture on it. It's actually super, super cute. It's got a little bit of ruching in between, as you can see, and a little bow right in the center. And then to go with it, you guys, these bottoms. These bottoms are everything. First of all, this rust color, stunning. Stunning. I don't know who this would not look good on. Like, it's beautiful. It again has that rib texture, same as the top. If you can see, it has this beautiful thick waistband. It is high cut on the legs. As you can see, it's cheeky. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Now, I 
have pretty big booty cheeks, okay? Let's keep it real, you and me here. And I don't mind a cheeky bathing suit bottom, typically, because my butt just comes out of whatever it wants to, and I'm just used to it at this point. If you do not care for cheeky bottoms, you ain't gonna like these, sis, but if you do like cheeky bottoms, these are where it's at. This is the most comfortable material on a bathing suit that I have ever felt point blank period. If you want something that is comfortable and feels of high quality, you need to try out these bottoms. So moving on, next from Aerie, I got bike shorts, you guys. And I'm not gonna lie to you, when the bike short trend first came about, I was like, oh no, honey, because looking at them, they kind of remind me of like Spanx and spandex and stuff like that, that I used to have to wear for like dance or whatever when I would try and like work out. And those products do not like actually stay down on my thighs. They would roll up and then they would create chub rub. And that's just not what we're here for, you guys. I got real thick thighs. Like, your girl is thick, okay? And so if I'm gonna wear something that stops like halfway on my thigh, I need it to stay there. And boy, did these not disappoint me. So these are the first pair that I got. I did get, I think, all of these bike shorts in a large. It is a straight cut band, but a really, really thick band. And these hit me probably like right in the middle of my thigh. They are so comfortable. These have like a cottony type feel and they are like stretchy, but structured. So they don't break down after one wear. Cause I don't know about you guys, but if I'm just chilling around my house and I'm wearing these, I am not gonna put these in the dirty clothes. I'm gonna put them right back in my drawer and wear them again the next day. And I can wear these probably two or three days in a row if I'm just chilling and they don't lose their structure and break down, which is really, really great for me because I ain't got time to wash these bike shorts every day. So I really do like the way these feel. I get a ton of compliments on them. They are so, so comfortable. They do not ride up. They do not fall down. I really do like these. And I love wearing these with like baggier t-shirts. I'll have some that I got from Aerie that I'll show you. But like I would even wear them with like this rosy day shirt. Throw on a pair of cloud foams. And if you do your hair and your makeup, you look like cute and comfy and chic. And it's so, so nice. So I got those. This next pair though, the next two pairs are the same type, just different colors. And you guys, oh my God, I love those ones, but I love these even more. Like these are everything. So these have more of like a spandexy type feel. Like I said, those are cotton and these are thick, thicker. These ones are more spandexy and a little bit thin. And you guys, these are fabulous. So first of all, I got them in these fun colors. I got this like, uh, I don't know what you would call this, like blue, sea foamy, tealy type color. And then I got this like really nice, like muted type salmon color. I like these cause they're nice for spring, but they also kind of transition into fall. So they're super, super cute. I haven't even taken the tags off these yet, you guys. Like I'm trying to be good, but I have worn this pair quite a few times and I love them. So again, they're like the same length. They hit me about mid thigh. They've got that beautiful, really nice, deep high-waisted band, which makes me feel really comfortable and like they're really staying on my waist. But the, like, the best part about these is this waistband. So instead of being straight across like the other one, it has this really lovely dip here in the front where it crisscross which really highlights my figure in an absolutely phenomenal way. So next I mentioned that I did pick up a couple of t-shirts because I wanted t-shirts to kind of go with the bike shorts when I ordered them. So the first one that I picked up is just this really simple, of course it's inside out. <laughs> This like really simple, just kind of like beigey colored t-shirt. It is a distressed shirt, so I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but like along the collar and things like that, it just kind of looks like she's been well loved. I'm pretty sure this is considered like a boyfriend tee, which makes me laugh, cause LOL, what boyfriend girl? When you gotta buy clothes labeled boyfriend clothes, cause you ain't got your own boyfriend, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like really pretty, like light pink, kind of beigey colored tee. It's literally a plain t-shirt. And I got this one in a medium because I didn't know how it would fit with it naturally being oversized on its own. Um, this hits me right, right below the start of my butt crack, which I don't know if that's a weird way to describe it, but that's where the mediums hit me. Again, I'm like 5'2", five 5'3", five on a good day. And so that's where these hit me. These do not cover my whole entire butt cheek. So if that's something that you definitely need in an oversized tee and like bike shorts or leggings that your whole butt cheek has to be covered, I would size up again. But 
It's definitely very comfortable, this shirt, because it's one of those like well-worn type materials. It's absolutely divine. It feels so good. I love wearing with the bike shorts, and I would also wear these with like normal jeans or um, shorts like that just because I feel like they're really comfortable and then I got another shirt just the same But I got this one in a large because again, I wasn't sure how these would fit me So this is just a white t-shirt that says beach feels which I love I got this one specifically because I liked the colors in it and it's got like these like muted blues and pinks and yellows and greens and I thought they would go well with the pink and green bike shorts that I picked up and it does that's the ones I wear this with the most because I just think it's a fun pop of color Again, this one is in a large, and this one does cover almost my whole butt cheek, so I definitely think that if you're someone that's looking for that, go with the large. It's going to be more baggy everywhere else, but if it's going to make you feel more comfortable, I definitely think it's worth it. I got some Mo t-shirts, you guys, so obviously in quarantine, I'm just sitting around being comfortable, so t-shirts is the jam. But I got these from... Um, John's website. So I think it's like we want static. So if you guys know of like the youtuber Katie and her husband John This is his merch website. They have a podcast called it must be nice I really enjoy watching it and if you don't know Katie by the way, it's luster Lux. That's who I'm talking about I will link her channel and their podcast and everything down below not like they need my help in the promotion world but just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So the first one that I picked up, I got it in an extra large because I wanted another oversized tee. You guys know your girl loves a good oversized tee. And I wanted this to be like oversized, like where it looked like I ain't got to wear pants if I don't want to wear pants. And that's why I got it in an extra large. It is just this black t-shirt. It is plain on the back, but it is for their podcast. So it says it must be nice in this like blue and white and pink. And I also picked up another t-shirt from them. <laughs> this one's probably my favorite. So funny story with this one is this is a men's like it's like a unisex t-shirt. And so I bought it originally in a medium because that's what I would be in unisex clothing. But girl, when that thing came in, it was so tight on me and so unflat. I'm talking about it was cuffing my arms like this. It was clinging to my stomach, to my, my non-existent chest. It just was not it, girl. But do you want to know the most disgraceful part of that all? Do you know who that t-shirt fit perfectly? Perfectly? My father. Like, what is this difference between men and women's bodies? That's why, like, I can never understand girls who can wear their boyfriend's clothes. Because boys, too, stick straight for me, honey. Like, absolutely not. I was so mad. Now, I will say, do keep in mind that if you look into buying anything off of, like, wewantstatic.com, definitely make sure that you are really being mindful of your size. If you're nervous, definitely size up because there are no returns. Like, there are no returns, no exchanges. I didn't know that at first because I obviously would have probably ordered a large off the bat to be safe, but I didn't anticipate that, and I anticipated because it was a unisex shirt, it fitting me like all my other unisex shirts. Yeah, no. So my dad got himself a new t-shirt, and I ordered it again in a large because I really, really wanted it, and when I double-checked, it was still in stock. So, okay, so this is the shirt right here. It's just a gray t-shirt, plain on the back, and it says, ever heard of it in black, orange, and white font it's super super funny i love this because if you guys have ever watched any of their videos their vlogs or their podcasts when they're talking about something like that you would definitely know of, like something really popular they'll joke and be like yeah ever heard of it and it always makes me laugh and i love it so much and i found myself saying it sometimes like joking around and so when i saw they had this tea first of all i really like the design on the front it's funny because i probably would never normally but i just think it's really fun and like it's perfect for like both boys and girls which i really do like and i love the color scheme of it all moving along from express so i only got one clothing item from express um and so this is the dress right here it is this spaghetti strap adjustable of course and it is like this like asymmetrical so like what I mean by that is like the bottom isn't straight like one side's longer than the other and it's got these cute little ruffles it's really lightweight it's so comfortable I wouldn't have to wear a bra with it hashtag thank you small boobies um, but it's so cute. I got this in a large as well because expresses dresses especially the ones that like zip up on the back because it does have a zipper detail 
they can be kind of tight in my chest area again because i am very broad from front to back and from side to side i wanted to make sure that i gave myself enough room and so the large fits me like a dream and then I did pick up two pairs of earrings from Express. Now you guys know most of my jewelry does come from Express. I think Express has really nice, really good quality jewelry for a decent price. Again, never, never buy anything full price from there. That's just silly, but most of the time they'll do jewelry either like 40% off or buy one, get one or something like that. And so I'm pretty sure all when I did this, everything was 40% off. And you guys know I love earrings, so I picked up two new pairs. So this is the first pair that I picked up. Let me get it going right there. I love hoops, but I love jewelry most of the time that's got a little different twist to it. So as you can see, it's got this circle, and then it's got this little part right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got like little rhinestones or something on it, and then these like half moon hoops. It is gold at the top, as you can see, and it's got obviously like a fake little diamond D type crystal in it. And then it's got this really pretty dangly like pinky kind of quartzy looking um bottom piece. I I'm the worst explainer ever. But I think these are so stinking cute, you guys. I think they would go with so many things and so many pieces. Okay, so last but not least, I picked up some items from Key. Now, recently I have posted my sunglasses collection, which if you have not seen that video, girl, what are you doing? Go check it out up here because I link every sunglass that I own down in the description bar. I have a bunch of really cute pieces. So the first thing that I picked up is actually not a pair of sunglasses. I haven't even opened it yet. But it is this sunglass case carrier. So I only got this because it was on sale. I would again not pay full price for this. Like I think at its full price it's too expensive. I'm not going to lie. But I got this really fun sunglasses case. It just say Key Australia on it. It's this really fun kind of like sparkly light blue. I think it's fun for summer. But you do it and it opens up. Excuse the crap falling out of it but it holds four different pairs of sunglasses if you guys can see they have velcro pieces and then you can put a pair of sunglasses in each of these and then as you guys saw it folds up like a little square and as someone who does enjoy traveling um like i'm sure you guys know if you've seen my decade video which if you haven't seen that subtle plug i'll put it right here check that bad boy out but when I go on things like my cruises or anything like that, I typically do take a couple pairs of sunglasses just because they're fun for different pictures and different outfits or whatever you got going on, girl. I'm not judging what you take and how you feel like taking it, but I'm not gonna lie. I like to take a couple pairs. And while all the sunglasses do come with cases, some come with like these thinner cases right here that really aren't very protective. And so like I'll always kind of take my most protective cases, but I was like this? for travel because it's a perfect square. You can fit four pairs in there. It's nice and pretty hard, like it's durable. I was like, I needed this and when I saw it was on sale, boom, I bought it. So I also picked up four pairs of sunglasses. The first two pairs that I picked up during the sale when I got this bad boy is this one right here and I'm pretty sure these are called the Jezebels. But these are what they look like. They have this gorgeous kind of like purple to like pink fade. These are almost like full circle sunglasses, which I really enjoy to a certain extent. So these are called the Link Ups. And so when I ordered them, I didn't realize that it came with a chain, but it does come with this chain and they have little stars on the edge here. Now, obviously you can remove the chain out of here if you want to. I probably will. I don't know that there's ever a time in my life that I'm gonna wanna wear a chain with these, but I'm gonna leave them on for now because I don't feel like I'm doing it. They have little chain details on the sides and then they are, again, a more round type sunglass, but they are like blue to orange. I have never owned anything like this and I think these are so cute. These are definitely smaller frames than the Jezebels, um, which is not a bad thing. I don't actually mind them at all, but you guys look at that fade. Oh my God, is that not amazing? And then last but not least, the last two pairs that I got are the same exact pair, just in two different colors. So I got this pair and this is like the fade. I didn't own the fade in the uh, bigger high keys. I own the full black and then the blue ones. Um, and so I really wanted the fade because I like the look of like kind of being able to see through the glasses. It makes them look big, but also doesn't make them look too oversized. 
which if you're someone who like kind of wants oversized sunglasses but you don't think they really fit your face, fades are the way to really kind of trick that because it makes it so you can see more of your skin so they don't look as big and you might actually like them more than just like really big, fully opaque um, oversized sunglasses. So that's just a tip. But you guys, I love these. I love these so much. These are so so freaking cute and then this pair you guys so again this is the same this is the high key rimless minis I don't even know if that's the right order but you guys stop it I think these are dirty because I have worn them outside once in the pool I'm not gonna lie to you guys but oh my god so these are like this like dark teal color it almost looks black but it's not and I had to have these I eyeballed these for ever you guys when they first launched these I was like I have to have them and then I was like you don't need to spend money and then I didn't buy them and then I was like you're getting them like you deserve it okay anyways you guys I'm gonna stop rambling now because I'm sure this video was longer than I intended it to be but because I have been wearing some of the pieces since I purchased them I want to kind of give you a little bit of insight on like how they wear and how comfortable they are so that way you would really have a little bit more detail versus my last clothing haul where I just kind of showed you the pieces. So I really hope that you like that aspect of it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday and if you hit that notification bell, you will never miss an upload from me. Last but not least, you can also come follow your girl on Instagram at Alyssa and Pope and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.